Welcome back to another video. Um, so I just finished filming my October favorites video and then I realized it's not the end of October. Great job. So today instead of doing like a review or like a makeup tutorial, I thought I would show you guys what is in my current makeup bag. Now this makeup bag is literally full to the brim. It's kind of what I use on a daily basis in rotation. So I thought I would show you guys what I currently have in my makeup rotation that I like using on a week to week basis. And I also thought I would show you guys how I organize um, this makeup bag in particular. Um, I got it from Sephora and... It's a big one. So if you want to find out what I have in this massive makeup bag and what's currently in my makeup rotation on a day-to-day -day basis, then keep on watching. So this is my Sephora collection makeup bag. I believe this is called the Universalist. This thing is actually so massive. I didn't realize when I bought it because it was on sale. Um, I kind of just grabbed it because it was such a good deal. The reason why I got it was because it is just so damn cute. It is in this gorgeous... Um, rose gold metallic-y um, leopard print. It has a creamy pinky base and I just think it is so so cute. It has rose gold zippers as well and, and this handle on top. Also I'm kind of just wrapped up in blankets because it's freaking freezing. Um, so don't mind me. So this makeup bag has two different compartments. It has a lower compartment which I keep all my makeup in but it also has this top compartment which I don't actually use because it's for brushes. Um, because I keep this makeup bag on my desk, I don't actually need to use it because I have my brushes in a separate uh, little like container. This is what the makeup bag looks like on the inside. It's kind of like this pinky, goldy, um, rose gold themed, obviously, um, wipe down material. These are just areas for your brushes. Um, again, I have my brushes in a different container, so I don't really need that. Um, but it also has this little zipper up here, which I really, really like. I need to fill that up. Um, but yeah, it's just really pretty on that side. Again, don't really use this compartment, but it's nice to have. Moving on to the lower compartment. This is where I keep all of my makeup in, and as you can see, it's quite full. Really, this is just a mishmash of all of the makeup that I use on a, um, daily basis, rotational basis, I guess. So I just finished a week of classes and I didn't clean this out. Um, and I didn't like reorganize it from when I last did my makeup, so I guess this is a good excuse for me to clean it up. So I'm going to start up here. This is just a little um, mesh, little zippered compartment. Um, and this is where I keep all of my MAC lipsticks. I have quite a few MAC lipsticks and I really like using them on a day-to-day -day basis, so I put them all here so I can actually see them and use them. It's a little bit difficult to find the names of all of these um, because they're all at the bottom and the packaging looks all the same but I only have five or six of them in here um, so that is completely fine with me. I'm, I probably have a few more scattered in here um, but yeah we'll just work with that. So I've been trying to figure out for the last five minutes how to um, angle the camera but I just thought handheld is the best way. Um, so this is kind of like the bucket of my makeup bag. I'm going to start over here because this is where I start doing my makeup. Um, like I said before, this bag has these little elastic bits that go all the way around um, the makeup bag. But I don't really find it works like well for organization, which is why I have um, this other sparkly thing in it. But in these little um, elastic bits, I kind of have... Um, a good mix of products. Mainly these are primers and foundations. So I have my MAC Prep and Prime, I have my eye cream, an eyeshadow primer. Um, I kind of stuck like weird, um, weirdly shaped items in here as well. So I have my MAC Luster Drops here. I have my concealers. In this one I have my MAC Concealer, MAC Face and Body, um, and another Makeup Forever foundation that I've been trying out. So in the back here I have my MAC palette. Um, I'm still filling it up, so um, that's why most of the things are empty. This is the only place that fits in my makeup bag, so I just keep it there. I also have my Hourglass The Edit palette, which I love to death. I have another MAC palette here. This is another um, MAC compact. This has a contour in it and um, a cream color base in it. I love that. And then I have some powders that I have on current rotation. This is the um, Rimmel Stay Matte. It's kind of old, but um, yeah, I'm testing it out again because I forgot how much um, I liked using it. And then I have my Too Faced Primed and Poreless in here as well. Next two items are again for MAC. Wow, um, I have a lot of MAC products. But I have a um, 
But this is a uh, mineralized skin finish in the shade Other Earthly. I think it was in the goodbye section of MAC a while ago in the summer. So I picked it up because I just thought so many pretty colors. You basically have three um, highlight colors, which I really liked about this palette. Um, and then I have a MAC blush here. This one, again, I think was in the goodbye section. Um, it's in the shade Cheek Pollen. I love that right now. I have a dirty beauty blender, which I should really learn to clean out, but I'm kind of just lazy. Um, and then I have, um, and in the very front, I have my NYX blush in taupe and then a eyeshadow from NARS. This one is gorgeous. So that is that side. Now I can go into this little pouch. I found that um, a lot of my makeup kind of just um, moved around in this makeup bag, so I decided to add this little pouch. This is from Bath & Body Works, I think. I got it during the holidays. And this is kind of where I keep all of my random-y, like, pencil-y shaped um, things in here. So I keep eyeliners, lip liners, um, my brow whiz is in there. I have a liquid lipstick from Smashbox here. What else? I have another lipstick. I have some mascaras. Basically, it's just a ton of like sticky items. I have my cream eyeshadows in here, um, more lip products, my eyelash curlers, literally just so much. I have my paint pot in here, which I always seem to lose in here. Maybe I should put it somewhere. I really don't need this many things in here, but I like having it there just because, I guess. I should really tone down like everything that I have in here, but who cares? <laughs> Lastly, this is kind of like the miscellaneous side of my uh, makeup bag. Really, this is just everything else. It doesn't fit any other corner of my makeup bag. I have a almost finished um, Maybelline push-up drama. That should probably go in here because it's pencil -y sized. I have this Becca Shebring Skin Perfector, which I really like. This is in the shade Moonstone. Um, I think this works really well with my skin. I really like using it with Pink Rebel as well. Um, I have my Effaclar Duo from La Roche-Posay. This is what I use on my pimples and spots like that. Um, I have a new palette that I recently just picked up from NYX. This is the Full Throttle um, Eyeshadow Quad in the shade Color Riot. It's really pretty. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. I think the packaging is really nice and I think the colors work very well for fall. Else, um, I have a makeup remover from MAC. I have my Hoola bronzer that I decided to take out again. I also have a Tide to Go stick because you never really know. I used to have this in my bag, but I think I kind of just chucked it in here. Oh, I think it's almost done. That's probably why. Um, but yeah, I just have that in there. And then I have a few remaining little bottles here. I have another um, of these MAC cleansing oil thingies. These are just little samples that I got whenever I did um, some purchases. And then I have two oils here that I got from a Sephora Favorites box. This is the Cover FX Custom Infusion Drops. Um, this one is the Radiance one, and then I have a Milk Makeup Sunshine Oil, which I am actually really liking at the moment. It comes in a roller ball, which is kind of weird. Um, like that. And you kind of just roll it onto your skin. Oops. You kind of just roll this onto your skin. Um, don't know if I like that application, but I really like the smell of this product. And then I have a little Milk Makeup um, Eye Pigment. This is in the shade Silent Disco, which is a really nice purpley color. So that is basically all of the things that I like keeping in here. Um, I probably should have organized it before I started filming this video, but I'm just keeping it real with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video of me going through um, my makeup bag. I know it is quite messy and I probably should have cleaned it up a little bit, but you know, life happens and things are not always super perfect. If you really like this makeup bag, I think you can fit a ton of crap in here. This bag called the Vacationer that I think I would like a lot more than this one because it has a little partition um, in the center of it so it just helps with organization and such. Overall, I think I'm quite happy with my makeup setup. Um, I know it's not perfect and it's kind of cluttered, but it's what works for me at the moment. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video of me going through my current um, makeup routine or current makeup rotation thing. I don't know how to say it. I love the way my makeup bag is currently, but as you can see, it could use some improvement. If you guys have any organizational tips um, for me, please do let me know. I think that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I'll probably have some pictures of this makeup bag going on to my blog soon, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. But I think that is it for today, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye! Bye.